All right, so we've got that trumpet put together. Let's go ahead and talk about how to hold it and how to make a sound on it. Now, the first part of holding it is knowing which hand goes where. So take your left hand. That's the part that's going to really hold the trumpet. With your left hand, I want you to take your thumb and your ring finger. Your thumb is going to go right in this hook right here, and your ring finger is going to go in this ring. The other fingers just sort of wrap around. You wanna do what's most comfortable for you. So depending on the size of your hand, your pinky might be kind of next to your ring finger like this, or it could be um, sort of down here, just wherever is comfortable for you. And then with your left hand, you should be able to just hold the trumpet like this. Now the next part is your right hand, which is going to be responsible for pressing the keys. So go ahead and make a C with your hand. Then with that C, you're gonna take your thumb and put it right between these two valves right here. So there's kind of a space between them that your thumb will rest. So your thumb goes there, and then your other fingers just curve on top. Now your pinky, there's a ring here. You don't wanna put it in the ring. You actually wanna put it on top, and that helps your hand stay nice and curved. So what you don't wanna do is flatten your hand like this. Keep those fingers nice and curved and on top of the keys. So you've got your hands in the right place. The next part we wanna talk about is your arms. So your arms want to be nice and relaxed, not like this, not like this, nice and relaxed and curved. Good. And then with the trumpet, you want to play to where it's about not straight like this, just a little bit down and not down like this either. So just um, not quite parallel with the floor, just a little bit under that. All right, so we've got our trumpet um, assembled. We know how to hold it now. We're gonna go ahead and take our mouthpiece off and practice getting a sound. So what I want you to do is take your lips and say, mmm, like you just tasted something good, mmm. Keep your lips like that and then say puh, like the word pop. P. So your lips are tight, like you said, mmm. Practice doing that a few times. Mm, pff, mm, pff. Now do it without saying the word mm. Pff, pff, pff. And try that on your mouthpiece. And you should be able to get a nice sound. Now the next thing we wanna talk about is how to actually start that sound. So instead of saying puh, we're gonna think of saying t, like a T sound. So think of your teeth, your tongue behind your teeth. You're saying t, but keeping your lips like you just were. T, t. Try that on your mouth, please. Good, and you should be able to get a couple of short sounds that way. So now let's see if we can get a nice long sound. We're gonna take a deep breath so we wanna make sure we're sitting up nice and straight. We're breathing deeply. And you should be able to get a nice long sound by doing that. Go ahead and try that a few times with me. So a deep breath. Now if you're getting a sound that's something like this, what that means is one of two things. Either your lips aren't quite tight enough, so you wanna think of pinching those corners, or you're not using fast enough air, so you wanna think of really pushing that air. So go ahead and try that a few more times with me. And one more time. Good, so now I think we're ready to try that on the trumpet. So we're gonna stick that mouthpiece back in. Remember, you don't need to do much more than just a light twist. And then let's remind ourselves where we're gonna hold it. So our left hand, and then our right hand. And we're gonna do exactly what we just did. So a big breath, get your lips ready. Maybe you got a 
sound that was as high as mine, or maybe you got a sound that sounded more like this. <laughs> either sound is okay, either sound is just fine. Now, if you got a sound that was something like this, <laughs> that again means that your lips either aren't tight enough or you're not using fast enough air. So I'll try and match my sound. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. Good. So that's how to get a sound on your trumpet.